What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we're doing another sock review. Uh, the reason I'm doing these kind of reviews is because I want to help everybody out. If you're looking at a sock, uh, if you're in Menards for that fact, um, I, I went to Menards a couple weeks ago and I, I picked up their wigwam socks. Um, if you're looking at the socks and you're thinking about, hey, should I spend the money? Well, that's that's why I'm here and that's why I'd like to educate you today so if you're interested stay tuned Alright guys, so if you could tell by the thumbnail, these wigwam socks got a big old thumbs down. Um, I'll go ahead and give them two thumbs down. Um, these are the wigwam uh, at work socks, my favorite pair, whatever. They've got all kinds of stuff on the label. But um, these are designated as their steel toe crew uh, work socks. Um, they're supposed to be good for steel toes, work boots, all that stuff. So uh, most of the tradespeople that follow me already, uh, you know, you're, you're working in steel toes, six inch or eight inch. Um, these are the sock that you're uh, probably going to be looking at. So one thing I will say about these is this, um, this style of sock from Wigwam does not have any merino wool in it. So first off, they are, let me get you the exact numbers. So 42, polypropylene, 35% cotton, 21% stretch nylon, 1% stretch polyester, and 1% spandex. So this is a recipe for disaster, disaster really. Um, these come in at $10 a pair. So, uh, you know, going into it, they're not as expensive as the darn tough socks that I reviewed uh, last week. Um, they're, they're half the price, um, and they're about half the quality. So, uh, these things, I sweated, uh, I sweated through these socks in about three hours. So these socks absolutely did no, no uh, job in moisture wicking. They were just horrible. Um, they, they make my feet run extremely hot. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, you know, mostly that, that polypropylene because I don't have problems with cotton. So cotton actually uh, does a lot better than these. So I had these on for about three hours. I gave them multiple tries. Uh, I think one day I was able to make it about five hours before I was just, I couldn't stand it anymore. Uh, I'm sure if you are if you're a tradesperson, you know that when your feet start aching and you know you, you've been on your feet for three or four hours and they start aching, it means your feet are wet. So you need to change your socks. So I always roll around with a pair of uh, synthetic socks with me, or like some and one socks or some uh, Dickies, um, you know, just a regular cotton work sock. Um, these were absolutely uh, just disappointing. So they have a lifetime guarantee, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, th that's great. If they work for you, I guess they're not that bad for $10. If you wanted to replace your whole set, you know, if you wanted to do six days of work socks, it's only costing you 60 bucks versus, you know, a darn tough uh, set would cost you about 120 to 150 bucks. So yeah, it's considerably less, but I don't think the quality is there. They certainly don't work for me, so I definitely wanted to get it out there to my viewers. If you're looking at the Wigwam socks from uh, Menards, they're a no-go. Uh, I bought another pair that was also a crew. It was a black pair, and those were just as bad. So I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with the darn tough socks and the merino wool in those. Uh, I think that is what makes the whole uh, thing work for me is that it, it uh, wicks that moisture away from my feet, keeps them dry, keeps them comfortable all day. The wigwams, two thumbs down. So uh, if you're looking at them, I would definitely not recommend them. They don't work for me. They might work for you. If you want to give them a shot, it's all on you. But uh, that's a whole reason why I've built the channel is because I want to uh, educate people and you know maybe make it easier when you're standing in the aisle at Home Depot, Menards, any anywhere, and you're looking at something like socks, boots, pants. I want to make it easier for you and uh, do the research for you up front and let you know when something's just a total bust. So don't go out there and waste your money. They're not worth it. Um, if you've had experience with them before or you like them, comment below. Let me know uh, just so we can talk about it. Maybe it's just something that doesn't work out for me, and then you know every I'm the one percent. 
Um, so if 99% of people like them and, and I'm the 1%, then so be it. But as of right now, they got a big thumbs down for me and I will not buy them again. Um, I think that I can even return them. I think they have a guarantee. Uh, I think I read a guarantee on here. Turn socks inside out before washing, made in the USA. Um, okay, so these might not have a guarantee on them. Uh, you can go to the Wigwam website for a full guarantee details um, and, and check them out there. Uh, but uh, whatever. Dry feet, blister free, odor free, that's what they claim. Uh, not a chance with me. So I hope you guys like the video. I kept it short and sweet and just bringing that information to you. I don't have anything else to say. Um, really, tongue tied. I was perfect for safety shoes. Ah, nope, don't think so. So, I hope you guys like the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, as always, I hope to see you click that subscribe button. If you're a viewer already, become one of my super subscribers and ring that bell because I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. So, don't miss out when I get a new video out. I'm promising to bring uh, more content, trying to get better. So I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you guys in the next video.